Okay, uh, welcome back to the CJE 2020 Certified Jenkins Engineer Certification Catalyst Program. This is question seven. We have a distributed build team with developers across the spectrum working on a variety of topics. This sometimes results in confusion as to what artifact output from one build pipeline is being used or leveraged in the subsequent test or build or release pipeline. Uh, what can be used to ensure that you can keep a track of what version of a file or artifact is being used in a build or a pipeline job. So basically you are getting an artifact from one build job and it is used in another subsequent step or something and you want to track right what is the dependency what is being used where and stuff like that okay uh, so basically you want to keep a track of your artifacts if its dependencies which build version what version number of what build is using what version number of what artifact and stuff like that so what are the options option a build promotion can be used to track artifact usage across builds b you need to store the artifacts in GitHub and version control them to understand their usage patterns and come up with conclusions. C. This is not possible in Jenkins. You need to write custom Groovy extensions for that. D. You need to fingerprint the artifacts and you can very easily understand what version of your artifact is being leveraged in what build number and so on, effectively allowing dependency tracking in your system. Very good. Let us check out what is fingerprinting. Okay, so what, what's fingerprint? So see what it is saying. Tracking file usage across Jenkins jobs using fingerprint. So when you have interdependent projects on Jenkins, it often becomes hard to keep track of which version of a file is used by which version of a dependency on that file and Jenkins supports file fingerprinting to track those dependencies. And this is basically our use case also. So the correct answer as you can understand is fingerprint. So what it is? See. So say you have a top project that depends on a middle project which in turn depends on a bottom project. You're working on the bottom project. The top team reported that the bottom dot jar that they're using is causing a null pointer exception, which you thought is fixed in bottom 32. Now Jenkins can tell you which middle builds and top builds are using or not your bottom dot jar 32. So basically your artifact version 32, whether any build is using it or not using it, you want to track that so that you can say that see, I have fixed this issue in bottom dot jar 32, you are using 31. So please use 32 and your problem will be fixed. And how do I set it up? Okay. Uh, so basically uh, what you can do is for example, let me just come here and go to Jenkins. Uh, let me see my stuff. Anyways, let me just go to this project configure. Okay. Just a minute and we will be there. So RP2 micro instance is equal to ten. Okay. So if you come here and you add up post build action, so see you can see archive the artifact. Okay. Do an advanced fingerprint all archived artifact okay this is what i'm talking about fingerprinting all archive so whatever artifact you are using you can fingerprint them here also and what does fingerprint mean here is a very very simple example uh, suppose you have the top project which depends on bottom and this is the basically the same example it is saying and how does it work okay how does fingerprint work basically the fingerprint file is simply an md5 checksum okay and you can find the fingerprint in the Jenkins home slash fingerprint. So there you will find that MD5, basically the checksum, and Jenkins will record which builds of which project is using it. And the database is updated every time the build runs and the files are fingerprinted. So to avoid excessive disk usage, Jenkins will not store the actual file. It only stores the MD5 checksum and their usage. So if you go here, you will find that the MD5 checksum is there. Who is using it? That is there. You will find all of the steps there. Okay. So for example, uh, typical scenario, so you develop the bottom project, you want to know who is using bottom 13 and which build. So we'll go to the bottom 13 build page, you will go to the fingerprint icon of the bottom, the jar in the build, you will see all the projects and the builds that use it. So I actually had something uh, set up for that, I don't know which that one is, but I have set up fingerprinting for a few use cases. I'm just quickly trying to find if I find something. Where fingerprinting is set up, check it at the text.txt. 
No, I don't think we have fingerprints set up. Uh, config uh, sections. Let me just very quickly check. Uh, post build action. Uh, archive the artifacts. What is what was the artifact? Txt. Txt. Let me see. Txt. Txt. fingerprint all the archived artifacts and let's do a save and let's try to run the project also okay it was a new sub parameter and let's do a new demo and let's do a build and let's see what's happening okay i'm right pending waiting for ah i had made the executor as uh -huh, shit. so as you know i had on one of the earlier demos i made the executor as uh, zero okay so number of executors so there is no executor as such so i just need to make this two and this is going to set it up okay now let me come here so i have two executors and if i go to my stuff then it i think it was java project uh, my shell job uh, yes this is a was the workspace and this was the text.txt uh, I can I would have to go into the section to show you am I I will have to do an RPG into this server I don't remember let me try to do a query quickly uh, RPG okay XT then mm, Let me quickly uh, see the other execute SSH or just let's see if I can very quickly show you once. Yes. Okay. So now if I come here. I'll just try to show you the Jenkins home directory. Uh, manage Jenkins. Uh, very quickly configure system. Ta -ta 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 then uh, opt direct to Bitnami Jenkins home. So this is my path to CD. Uh, LS. Yes, fingerprints. As you can see, we have fingerprints here. So if I do a select here, right here, you can see I have this fingerprint with FE. So what happens is that if I, uh, I will just mm, do it. Okay, so CD FE, then I will get another part CD70. Very good. Now I will find this XML. Now do a cat on this XML. Very good. Okay. So as you can see, this is the MD5 sum. First is FE, then 70. So these first two parts, they make up the, uh, basically your first two folders. So as you can see, I had to go to FE first, then 70, and then I got the entire file. As you can see here, this is my stuff, Java project, my shell job. Okay. And uh, this is used in uh, this file name, text.txt. This is my artifact. And my this is my basically fingerprint, basically it's the MD5. And nobody else is using it. The only usage is my shell job. So my stuff, Java project, my shell job. So if I go here very quickly, my stuff, uh, Java projects, my shell job. Uh, sorry, one second. Uh, yes, just find fingerprints. Sorry, no, this is not this one. Sorry, where did I go? Yes, my file, my shell job. Yes. Okay. Now, if I go to the workspace, this is my txt.txt. Yes, this is the file I'm talking about. Okay, this is the txt.txt. And this is the same file you will see here. 
so my stuff is text.txt as you can see text.txt and this is the md5 sum of that file and basically this is the and this is the date of the timestamp so basically uh, the uh, if i had downstream job okay which were using this uh, uh, this text.txt okay then i would have seen uh, another entry in this user section uh, which would have uh, shown the name of that job also and the build string of the job as you can see the range is 7 why is 7 because you must have already understood that this was the seventh build okay so if i go back yeah see you can see build 7 this was the build okay which uh, basically see fingerprints yes as you can see more detail yes so it has been used only here so same thing basically this is coming from here only as you can see fe70 so here fe70 okay and this file has been used if i had other downstream jobs which were using the same binaries then you would have seen all of them here anyways uh, this was uh, this took more time than i expected so as you can see build promotion has nothing to do with fingerprinting okay so answer is not correct storing the artifact in github will not help i will not be able to pinpoint uh, what is being used where it is not possible in Jenkins we've been encouraged to know it's possible in fingerprint so you need to fingerprint the artifacts and you can very easily understand what version of your artifact is being leveraged in what bill number and so on effectively allowing dependency tracking in your system so answer is D uh, these are the um, references that you can use and I think uh, I was able to give at least some idea uh, I would need another more detailed demo I don't have time for that right now this is not the uh, objective of this series also to give you uh, detailed demos anyway so thank you and please share your feedbacks in the comment section